Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie, of course. And I just wanted to hop on real quick and let y'all know what is going on with my life right now. Because I have decided to take a social media YouTube break until late January, early February. I think this is the best decision I can make for myself because I think y'all saw my previous videos that I'm just a little bit worn out. I, like I said, I work um, an 8 to an eight to 5, 9 to 5, whatever. 8 to 5 is lunch, whatever. I don't know. But I do have like a job. You know, I am an adult and I have to work to pay bills and stuff. And with that alone, it's been hard for me to juggle my like work with what I actually want to do which is make content for everyone I think making this channel uh, has been the best decision I've ever made in my life like I've made uh, such great strides with my mental health just because I've been able to be um, open with people and it's very hard for me to do that with anyone but i feel very comfortable speaking with you all it's been a great way to explore my creativity and find things that i love and i love this channel so i'm just taking a break to recuperate and relax and do things that you know i that i enjoy without feeling like i need to make content out of it like playing my animal crossing and watching anime until i pass out because I love watching TV and there's a lot of great anime out right now so I have so many shows I want to catch up on and best believe I'm gonna binge every single one of them <laughs> so yeah not not only have I been feeling burnt out but I think this is also the universe's way of telling me that I need to prioritize and refocus like what I want to do with my life instead of just randomly like putting out content i actually was uh, admitted into the hospital like december 15th or 16th i had really intense upper abdominal and chest pain like it felt like my heart was like squished and like on fire like it was the worst pain i've ever felt in my life and i like to think i have a very high pain tolerance like i've had broken bones before and stuff like that and i don't know the, the pain was, I, I never ever want to feel it again. And after some tests and stuff like that, we find out that I actually have gallbladder stones. Nuggets were my downfall, of course. I love fast food, I love chicken nuggets, I love french fries, I love pizza, and they betrayed me. The ones you love the most hurt you the most in the end. Anyways they told me that even if i changed my diet i still needed to be taken out and plus my mom she was around my age when she had hers removed my aunt doesn't have her gallbladder my grandma's some of my grandmother's sisters don't have their gallbladder either i mean i just feel like it was bound to happen i already scheduled the surgery and everything i'm getting surgery january 7th so next friday as i'm recording this I'm very nervous about it. I know it's a common surgery, but still, it's surgery. I'm getting an internal organ taken out of me. And they did say that typically the recovery process or progress, recovery, whatever, recovery is usually one to two weeks. So with surgery being so soon and then recovery being that long, uh, I just thought it would be best if I just took a break for the month and focused on resting and recovering and making sure that I'm good, that I'm healthy. It was a, a frightening experience. So the surgery itself, they said, would take like an hour and a half and I'll be going home the same day if everything goes well. My body's going to need rest. I'm going to need time to recover. So I just thought it'd be best for me to take this time for myself, focus on myself, and also I don't want to put out like half-assed content for you guys if you know I'm in pain yeah I'll be back February and I have already have a lot of great ideas for um, future content to come 
and everything will be okay. It's been a lot. It's been a lot with battling with my mental health, like, this past, like, since freaking Thanksgiving because of the holidays. And then with my actual physical health, it's just been a lot. And I think I just need to stop. I need to slow down. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say. Well, of course, I wanted to wish you a happy new year. I hope and wish nothing but great and amazing things come your way. And I really hope and pray that 2022 is an amazing year for all of us. I feel like I had a similar message in my last like New Year's Eve video where that 2021, 2021 was like our year. And even though it's been hard, it's, I mean, with COVID, with everything, like it's been difficult. I still feel like 2021 was a, an amazing year of growth for me. I feel, I don't know, I'm just, I'm proud of myself. I hope that regardless of the obstacles and, or downright heartbreaking moments you've had in 2021 that you realize that you are loved and you are strong and that there are other people out there who are rooting for you i'm rooting for you we're gonna get through this we got this we we got this far we got this far <laughs> we got this far on a serious note i never thought i would make it to 25 uh just because growing up i just i i never wanted to be alive that long and i know that's really heavy i'm proud of myself as hard as it's been i did i'm 25 and i'm having gall bladder removal oh my gosh i have to tell y'all something so funny so when i went to the surgeon to talk about my gallbladder oh no i don't have anything i asked him if he could tell me because we were looking at my ultrasound specifically how many gallstones i had and he was like yeah of course i mean we can look and, and see if we can see how many you have and i was just like okay that'd be awesome and he just goes <laughs> pretend i have glasses he didn't do the glasses thing i just gotta be dramatic but he was just like dozens <laughs> he was like you have dozens and i was like okay but yeah i'll be back and i'll be making more witchy content more diy content more makeup content because those are just all my interests and that's what i want to share with you so that's what we're gonna do like i said i love you all so much happy new year i i'm so proud of you i am with you and we got this 2022 that is all for this week's video this year's this is this year's last video oh i love you all and i'll see you february uh i will come back most likely the saturday the first saturday of february try not to put too much pressure on myself because if i put too much pressure on myself then i'm gonna freak out and stress out and even though i'm supposed to be resting on january i'm gonna be thinking about that so take it easy i'll be back bye